The Pixel Slate launched to less than stellar reviews, partly because of the tablet mode and the way that you navigate through multiple open applications was just a little bit janky and ultimately it still is that way and it's that way across every Chromebook. So for being fair, it's really less of a problem with the Pixel Slate and it's more of a problem with just Chrome OS in general, but it seems like with Chrome 75 coming out in the next few weeks, if you jump over to the beta or dev channel and get that 75 version of Chrome OS, we're actually seeing what looks like possibly a fix. So here we are, we have in overview mode, some Android apps, we have some PWAs, and we have some just basic Chrome tabs with the video running. This is a normal kind of setup you would have if you were just doing day-to-day -day stuff. And so what I wanna show you is on Chrome 74 and stable channel right now, how this behaves in full screen. You can see some animation drops here. I mean, it's workable, but smooth it is not. And then we're going to do some multitasking. And again, we're getting some black screen flashes. Just overall, it feels a little half-baked. It's not performing terribly right now. You saw right there, it was nice and smooth. So it's just kind of this mixed bag of performance when it comes to Chrome OS 74 and these kind of tasks. So now let's switch over to Chrome OS 75 in beta and see what the difference looks like. All right, now we've updated the slate to beta 75. So 75 should be hitting stable channel in four or five weeks, something like that. So if you don't feel like jumping to the beta channel, you don't have to. Uh, in, in just over a month, you'll see this actually come down to your device automatically. But what I wanna show you is now that we're in beta, the transitions between these things, how much smoother everything is. And before we were getting black frames and stuff as we were moving between apps. And let's go, let's go split screen. And you can just see everything is a lot smoother. These animations are actually working. We're not dropping frames all over the place. Now, is it perfect? Not completely perfect. I mean, but gosh, this is, a ton more usable than what it was and just in general the whole interface feels better because ultimately for me if I'm using it in tablet mode usually I'm going to be doing something and I'm going to jump out and do this or I'm going to hit this button and jump into the next thing and this is just so much quicker uh, than it was on stable and so whatever it is they've worked on and been working on I'm sure they've still got some some work to do to finish it up but as you can tell this is going a lot quicker than what it was and it makes this feel a whole lot more usable as a tablet in general. And so it's exciting to see this particular thing move forward and whatever it is they're doing to fix it, I hope they continue to just keep working on that and just making this a better and better tablet experience for not just this device, but all the devices that are coming uh, in the future, especially as Snapdragon devices are around the corner in the second half of 2019. But guys, that's it for this one. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below and until next time. We'll see you.